Hey everybody, today's video we're going to be talking about wearables. No. No, not that kind of wearable. Technology wearables, you know, for computers and stuff. No. Today we're going to talk about technology wearables, specifically the Mayo Armband by Thaumic Labs. Now, what the Mayo Armband lets you do is control devices with it. Um, the device could be your smartphone, it could be your computer, your Mac, it could be a camera, it could be a parrot drone, a toy, but specifically what I care about is trying to play my video games with it so I'm hands free. Um, so let's get started and I'll show you how this works. After you download and install the Maya Armband, you'll need to create a keyboard mapper for whatever game you're going to play. Now the trick to do this is you have to think ahead of time, what buttons do I need that are on my mouse or keyboard that I now want to move to the Maya Armband? So for example, in Battlefield, um, I need to move forward, I need to move the mouse, and I need to be able to shoot. So just those three is what we're going to start with. I chose to, when I spread my fingers, when I do the spread finger gesture, I want to walk forward. So we're going to map a key. Actually, we're going to, yes, we're going to map a key. I chose W. Now, if I just tap it, W, if I just tap it, he's only going to walk forward one little frame. We want to hold it until release and then save. So now whenever I hold my hand spread, he's going to hold W until I go and hold the fingers again. Okay. The next trick is, how do I get the mouse to move around? So in order to unlock the mouse, I chose the double tap feature. So we're going to choose the toggle unlock and mouse. It's a two features in one. Um, it'll give me control of the cursor. So when I move my arm left, right, up, down, that's just like me moving the mouse up, right, left, and down. So with a combination of spreading my fingers and double tapping the double tap feature, I can now walk around and control my character just by moving my arm. The second trick is I need to be able to shoot. So what I chose to do is um, when you make the fake, I'm holding a gun gesture, which is you pointing your finger and thumb. You can also squeeze your arm enough to, to make it look like it's the fish gesture. So we're going to map that to the fire button, which is the left click. So we're going to map a mouse click, left click, and we're going to hold it because we want to shoot until we let go of the mouse button, save it, and then that's it. Now, we, I didn't map anything to left and right, but in hindsight, I think it would be useful to be able to strafe left and right. So we're going to map these to the A key for strafing left, and we're going to map this one to strafing right. So now when you wave left and wave right, you'll be able to strafe. So now that this is done, you want to activate it and export as a connector. We're going to call this one Battlefield 3. Four, four, and export. Yes, install it. So now, whenever this game comes up, Battlefield 4, the keyboard mapper is going to turn on so that whenever I make those gestures, it works. In this clip here, I was able to create a new mapping for World of Warcraft. Um, it's very similar to the one I used for Battle, uh, Battlefield. I used the fist to um, hold the right click instead of shoot because there's no real shooting here. And I'll use the double tap to activate the mouse and finger spread to activate my W, which is auto walk. So far, everything is working awesome. You can see I'm able to navigate, move around, but then I'm trying to shoot a frost bolt and, and it's not responding the way I want to. So I walk forward to catch up and then I can't stop. As you can see, I'm using the gesture. I'm trying to make him stop and he just keeps walking and keeps walking. So it's, it's fun to use, but for this game, you need too much twitch reflex, and there's so many different buttons that uh, the Maya armband just isn't practical for this game at all. Now in this clip, we're going to be playing a little bit of Battlefront 3, and I use very similar mappings as to uh, Battlefield 4, and we have some more of the same problem. I need to react quick, but for some reason, the, the twitchiness reflexes that are necessary to be good in games like this, you just can't pull off with the Maya armband. I am able to shoot a couple of guys, but I'm doing one of the training, the survival missions on easy, and I'm just getting obliterated. Look, I have seven health, and I can't run away. I'm, I'm trying to run away, but the Maya armband isn't reactive enough and accurate enough sure? for me to be uh, competitive in the game. At one point, I think I actually grabbed the mouse just to turn around and realign myself so I can be in a better position to... To, to shoot these guys. So I'm, I'm using the finger spread to walk. Yeah, there I am. I, I grab the mouse, spin around, and I'm still having troubles shooting, having troubles aiming. Um, 
it's just not very practical for video games that require a quick reaction and accuracy. So a lot of these games I've shown you, I've had to create my own connector for. However, if you go to the Mile Marketplace, there's a lot of games that already have connectors built by professionals. Um, one in particular is a game called Race the Sun, which they have created their own plugin. And you just go to the website, download the connector, and install it, and you're good to go. I had a chance to use the connector and play with the game. And it worked a whole lot better than some of the other games that I was playing. And I think the reason is the game isn't dependent on so many different... Um, quick rotations and turns and key presses. It's just more or less guiding uh, the character or the unit that's on the screen. And this makes a whole lot of sense for a game like Race the Sun, as you can see right here. Try that again. Um, there you Whoops. Thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you learned a little bit about what the Maya armband can do and how it can and cannot uh, replace the typical mouse and keyboard for gaming. But if you're interested in purchasing your own Maya armband, I'll have a link in the description below. Please subscribe and share this video. I really appreciate it. And you guys have an excellent new year.